what do you do for your job? I am the business development associate, which is basically marketing. I am a emergency response provider for AAA. That means we have a I have a flatbed tow truck, and I have a service vehicle that I use to help people that have flat tires on the side of the road, <clears throat> or run out of gas, or need a jump start, or need a tow. I'm the owner of Joe's Body Shop, and uh, I have two other businesses. I have Smolix Auto Sales. I also have a limousine service, Arrive in Style Limousines. We're the owner and operators of a construction company. Uh, we do everything from uh, site work, which is excavation work, uh, all the way through to erecting buildings, uh, steel buildings, uh, uh, residential, commercial buildings. I'm a nurse in an outpatient surgery department, so we admit patients for that day procedures, whether it be surgical or infusions. I'm a um, contractor that does a lot of kitchen and bath remodeling and fancy trim. Okay. Um, case work meaning cabinetry, mill work meaning moldings and such things. I do a lot of custom fireplace mantles. I play video games. <laughs> what kind of video games do you like playing? Halo 2. Yeah. And how do you use math when you're playing Halo 2? After I beat my dad really bad, I uh, can see how bad I beat him. Like the other night we were playing and uh, he had 2 and I had 10 and I was like 20 and I was like 10 times better than him. After I go out and invite everybody, I'm going to figure out how many people came compared to how many I invited so that I know that ratio for the next time I go out so I can figure out how many people I want to come. And since my um, paycheck is based on how many people come, I'll obviously want to know that, you know. We have a, a fee for uh, hooking up and then mileage. So you would have to then calculate mileage uh, per the mileage charge. And then we always give them typically three miles free. So of course you would subtract that. So you're using calculations all the time. The, the body shop, we're doing uh, estimating. We have to estimate, we have to figure out uh, different uh, rates, different uh, material bills, how everything goes together to finalize the estimate. Right. And uh, with the limousines, we're putting in uh, different pricing for times, how much time, and where the vehicle's going, how much it costs per hour, by the number of people that are going, and their gratuities for the drivers, the mileage, which we're charging for. And then when you go into the car sales, we have uh, all the different auctions we go to. We'll buy cars, we have to figure out how much the car is worth when we go to buy it, how much we're going to sell the car for, and if there is going to be a profit or not. There's right. not always a profit in the vehicles you buy and sell, <laughs> to be honest with you. Math comes in every step of the way uh, from when we bid a job to the time we get it completed, know what to pay our people, and then figure out if we made any money or lost any money. Hopefully you're not losing too Correct. often, right? <laughs> we done a job for a, uh, a stone manufacturer. They actually uh, cut large pieces of stone into smaller pieces of stone and resell it. They put up a multi-million dollar facility they bought many millions of dollars of worth of equipment from Italy. When we got the blueprints uh, to show where all these anchor bolts and everything went, uh, all the blueprints were in metric. And so our guys had to learn how to convert the metric uh, into our scale. I use math um, from the very beginning, from getting their weight and converting it to kilograms from pounds and time of day, whether it's normal time use, military time, so we have to convert that. And then for their medications, we'd have to convert doses, we'd have to um, 
do drug calculations depending on their weight. And, and, and that's why you need it in kilograms then? Yes. Okay. I was wondering about why you would... Yeah. Um, most all medications are done in kilograms. Okay. So it's an international system. So we always have to convert their weight to kilograms. Okay. So you get your drugs from Canada then? Probably. <laughs> I couldn't function without math. I use it virtually from the time I get up in the morning and then we go to work and we get a tape measure out and we do the same thing all over again. We're measuring pieces, we're adding things, uh, and we use a lot of different kinds of mathematics. We, don't, we use simple addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, but we also do some algebra, we do a little bit of geometry, uh, periodically I'll have to um, bisect an angle for some reason or another to calculate what we're going to join together. Uh, we use triangulation to square up pieces and square up rooms and foundations, so we use math constantly. So also, one more question, um, what is it that you absolutely love about algebra? <laughs> <laughs> algebra? Well. I'm just kidding. I've actually, um, I didn't, I didn't prep you for this, but I do have um, an algebra question for you. Okay. Six. X equals six. Yeah. Right. Okay. Six. X equals six. Okay. X equals six. If you need a pen or something, pencil to to do it, I think you'll be okay though. X equals six. Um, I think I can get this in my head. Uh, looks like x equals 6. All right. Um, now, I didn't prepare you for this, but I've got an algebra question for you. <laughs> All right. If um, an airplane leaves from Chicago to Los Angeles traveling at 400 miles an hour, and an airplane leaves from Los Angeles to Chicago traveling at 350 miles an hour, how many monkeys does it take to fill a swimming pool? I would say about 14 and a half, <laughs> large, large-sized monkeys. <laughs> <laughs>